I'm going to be making chocolate chip cookies and I call them Sarah's chocolate chip cookies because Sarah is the one who sent me the recipe for these cookies. So Sarah, thank you so much. And I'm so very excited and just, uh, just feel so honored that you uh, would give me this recipe. Now I'll let some of you know that, uh, do not know, but Sarah um, does this at Christmas time. She bakes eight cookie flavors. Last year she gave almost 5,000 cookies away to friends, families, coworkers, and the sharing table, uh, also known as the soup kitchen. Uh, so I just think that's amazing, so special of her to do that, and she just loves it, and I think that's great. She says uh, she is sharing her oldest, simplest, and yet still the most popular flavor, and that's chocolate chip. Now, she actually wanted Chad and I to make these cookies together. That's the reason that she sent them, but at Christmas, I did not have this box. I did not go check my mail. So anyway, Sarah, uh, my family will be in later tonight. And so I'm gonna have all of them taste the chocolate chip cookies. Well, I'll take that back. Some of them can't because of different food allergies, but those who can, I'm sure, are going to enjoy these cookies so very much. So thank you again for sending me this recipe. She also sent me a burger cookie pie. Uh, I don't know if I'll get that made while they're here. We, it may be after we come back from our vacation. Uh, I'll try to put that, uh, squeeze that in. I'm not promising because I just don't know if we'll have the time, but I will try. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started with Sarah's chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so getting started on Sarah's chocolate chip cookies. First thing that we're going to do is add one third cup of butter flavored Crisco. And then one half a cup of salted butter, and this is um, one stick. One stick equals that half a cup. I love that. Um, okay, and we're going to, I'm, I'm looking at my, um, her recipe over here so I don't get anything wrong, but we're gonna go ahead and just cream those two together. So we're gonna add one half cup of brown sugar, one half cup of white sugar, and also one egg, there we go, and a one teaspoon of vanilla. Get that all well incorporated here. All right. And to this, we're going to add, let's see, what what's does Sarah say here? Uh, one and one half cups of flour. Here's our flour. One half teaspoon of baking soda. And one half teaspoon of salt. So those mixed in well. Okay, so now we're ready to fold in a 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Oh my. All right, let's get those worked into the dough really well. Okay, so now Sarah says that we need to either refrigerate this overnight or for at least a few hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get mine in for a few hours so I can have these baked up and ready for my family when they get here. Okay, so uh, I have my cookies out of the refrigerator now. They were there for about seven hours, so I hope that um, is long enough. But I have lightly greased my uh, baking sheet. Sarah didn't say on here um, greased or not, so I just, uh, you know, went ahead and did that just in case. And I'm just taking these and rolling them in about, oh, about table size, uh, tablespoon size. I'll get it out in a minute. Oh, there's my oven. It's all ready. Um, so about a tablespoon size ball, and your oven is gonna be on 375 degrees. And Sarah, I hope I do your cookies justice. I'm so very excited to try them. So I'm gonna continue rolling these till I have 12 on this cookie sheet. Okay, so I have 12 on here, ready to go into a 375 degree oven for seven and a half to nine minutes. Uh, I can't wait to see what these make my house smell like. I know it's gonna smell oh so yummy. Okay, so getting Sarah's cookies out of the oven. They look wonderful, they smell awesome. So anyway, we're gonna let these rest on here for a few minutes, then we're gonna transfer them to my cookie rack back there to cool completely. Okay, so all the cookies are made. Now this makes just over three dozen cookies, but they look so yummy. 
and my house smells so wonderful. Can't wait to taste Sarah's chocolate chip cookies. Okay, Sarah. So Greg and I are gonna try your cookies first. And when the family gets here, then we will try to stay out of them until they get here. But then when they get here, we'll let them try. Okay, baby, pick a cookie. This is from Sarah. Does it smell okay. good? Okay. Smells mm. good, Sarah. Okay, take one. <laughs> I'm gonna take one too. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Chocolatey. That tastes like my mother's homemade chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, pretty good. Mmm. That's really good. Sarah. Good recipe, Sarah. Good yep. job, Bill, making them, babe. Okay. I hope y'all understood that because he was eating his cookie while he was talking. Okay. I'm going to finish my cookie. And then when everybody else gets here, they can have a cookie. If there's any left. <laughs> okay, you guys, come try some of Sarah's cookies. I got some more people to try your cookies, Sarah. Ooh, there's Josiah. Oh, oh and you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they look good. Mm. Sarah made them. Who's good. Sarah? Sarah. Sarah made them? Sarah. No, I made them. It's Sarah's recipe. Did I say Sarah made them? Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Good job, it's Sarah. Good. I have another one, Sarah. Those are good. Look at that huge 